Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself. And as you can see, we have four days left until the new year, 2022. But in the meantime, I'll be doing a new list, list to say, in order to say goodbye to 2021. So for this list, I'll be discussing my top 10 best movies of 2021 yes ever since since they reopened the movie theaters i've been watching all the movies like crazy like every week whether they were good or bad or somewhere in between but let's discuss all the best awesome movies that 2021 gave us okay Let's get started. Number 10, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yes, Mortal Kombat. I mean, don't get me wrong. The, fir the first one was like a guilty pleasure. It was, it was very cheesy, but I love it. The second one, <laughs> But this new one, oh, it really gave us all the fans, everyone it wants. They made us, they made it rated R. They they didn't hold back, back with the gory fatalities and everything. And they gave us some awesome, and they gave us some awesome fires, fires again like Liu Kang, Jack, Sonya, Kun Lao, Raiden. Even Scorpion? Oh. oh my god. I even loved it. Loved it. But I was... But I was having a head scratcher when it comes to our new... To our new, new protagonist, Cole Young. I mean... I can't believe they just added us. They just slapped a new character like that. That is not based on any of the video games. But I can see why why they add him, considering he's related related to Scorpion. <laughs> and I really do admire the villains like Shang Tsung, Goro, and Melina. But, eh, Melina. but I was disappointed how we don't see the other characters like Kitana, Jade, or even Johnny Cage. I hope they do do right by those characters for the sequel. So far, Mortal Kombat really did deliver it. I it was it was so cool. It was it was action packed. It was epic and all that jazz. Okay, moving on. Number nine Finding Ohana. <laughs> This movie came came out on Netflix around January. It sh it had that it had that Goonies vibe. Only it's in Hawaii. I mean, I absolutely love Hawaii. It was a great movie to set set featuring a treasure hunt, hunt all those dangerous traps, traps, and even showing a an army of Hawaiian ghosts called the Night Marchers. Crazy. <laughs> My God, it was the movie was fi the movie was very family friendly. It had a lot of heart. It had a exquisite wit, wit and and some interest interesting setting setting around the place. I just love it. Okay, number eight. Shang-Chi and, and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Oh, I gotta say, an awesome movie that has that has an H Asian protagonist 
on this. Oh, I got to admit, Sim, Simi Yu, you really did deliver Remember in this movie. He was an awesome, badass, badass hero. I even do love, love his, his childhood friend, friend Katie, played by Aquafina. Oh, she was stunning and funny as hell. I just love her. And it was nice to see Tony, Tony Ling and Michelle Yeoh. They were fabulous in this movie. And, and we could get to see Benedict Wong reprising his role again. Oh, oh it just, it was amazing though. I did love the, the little fight between him, him and Abomination. It was nice to see, see that villain again. I, I gotta say, the the movie, I gotta say, I really do admire it because we get to see, see the origin story of the Ten Rings ever, rings ever since the first movie, how they were kind of involved, both of kidnapping Tony's death, and we get to see, see that symbol again, again after Iron Man 3, you know. <laughs> and more shockingly, they added, added, Ben Kingsley to reprise his role as Trevor. What are the odds? <laughs> all in all, all Shanti was was very magical, magical, and, and it really was a throwback to all to all fantasy kung fu movies. Okay, number seven, Army of Thieves. Does it take your breath away and you uh, Army of Thieves is, is a great prequel prequel way before Dieter was recruited by Scott Scott to go back to Vegas. I really did love love how it tells the story of one of the characters. characters. Dieter was was quite a genius when it comes of cracking safes, and he gets recruited by this team to rob banks. It, I, I gotta admit, it definitely was a callback to, to Ocean Eleven or The Italian Job, or any heist movie. I gotta say, say Matthias Schweiger off. Of the delivered on this epic wild riot of a movie. Okay. Mm. Okay, moving on. Number six, nobody. <laughs> nobody was definitely one of my favorite action movies this year. I just in my my Bob Odenkirk, he, for, for a regular family man, he did not fail in this movie. I gotta say, he was a badass. And we get to see Christopher Lloyd again. Oh, it's been a while, while since I've seen him in any movies. And we get to see Rizza. Oh. I gotta say, this movie was flawless. It was definitely like a rip-off version of John Wick, and I still, still admire it. It, it, it was action-packed. I really do admire the fight scene, scene at the bus. It was crazy as hell. Oh, Lord. Okay. Number five, Godzilla versus Kong. Oh. First, Alien vs. Predator, then Batman for the Superman, and now this? Oh. It was a Clash of the Titans moment right here. I do, sometimes I do imagine Kong as Superman and Godzilla as Batman. <laughs> imagine that. I just love this. How the story takes place after after the previous three movies. Movies. I 
just love the cast, how we get to see Millie Bobby Brown and Kyle Chandler again, again after Kings of King of the Monsters. And we have a new cast with Alexander Skarsgård, Rebecca Hall, Brian Tree Henry, Julian Julian Dellison and Eliza Gonzalez. <laughs> love, love the cast. I really do admire my, my con. I really do love, love the battle, battle that was happening at the boat, at the ocean. That was crazy. Crazy. But I even did love, love the final battle over at Hong Kong. How both Godzilla and Kong teamed up against against Mecha Godzilla that was crazy. I just love it. It was bombastic. Whoa. All right. Number 4, which which is another another movie that is related to a previous one that I just did, Army of the Dead. Yes. First we talked about first I talked about about a heist movie movie in Europe. Now we get to talk to hi, talk about another heist movie in Vegas only with zombies. I gotta say the movie was like shot Suicide Squad meets Dawn of the Dead. It was it was badass. Ass. Oh, I remember seeing this in the in theaters before it was on Netflix and I just fell in love with it. I even love the cinematography, the action sequence, the visual effects, effects especially the zombie tiger. <sighs> that was creative. I gotta say, Zack Snyder did an absolute hit with this movie, hands down. And now we get to see a sequel called Planet of the Dead. <laughs> it has a nice ring to it, though. I just absolutely love the cast. They were amazing. I, it was... It was... It was speechless. Okay, number three, which was a... Which took a very long time, time during the during the quarantine and how we were disappointed that it keeps delaying so many times. Free Guy. <laughs> yes, Free Guy starring Ryan Reynolds himself. If you will love, if you love video games, you this is the movie I should recommend for you guys. Free Guy, Free Guy, did not fail at all. I was afraid it would flop. Hot though. No. But thankfully it didn't. Because I absolutely love Ryan Reynolds. I love his acting in this. Especially Little Ray Howry. Howry. He was awesome. I, it, the movie was like. The movie was like. Ready Player One all over again. I. I mean, for, for example, example, guy is like, it's like Parcival, or in this case, Wade Watts, and Molotov Girl is kind of like, oh, what was her name? Oh, Artemis, or, or Samantha. <laughs> I just love the romance between, between Guy and between Guy and Molotov Girl, <laughs> they they make an absolute couple. I even love the battle between between Guy and Dude. Oh my God, that was crazy as hell. I really do love it how he showed up showed up with Captain America's shield, <laughs> shield blocking Dude's blocking Dude's death punch. That was <laughs> that was flawless. <laughs> I just love it. I I really laughed my ass when Chris Evans showed up. <laughs> okay, moving on. Number two, the Suicide Squad. Oh, my friends are eating steak. It's slow. 
Wait for them to I was afraid this movie would flop as well, but thank God it didn't. This movie was a successful, was an absolute hit, hit unlike its predecessor. It has some great act, action, action in this. I just absolutely love the new Suicide Squad, well with Bloodsport, Peacemaker, Polka Dot Man, Ratcatcher 2, and, and King Shark. Played by the voice of Sylvester Stallone. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus, take the wheel. I absolutely love, love this movie. It was astonishing. It was breathtaking. And all that jazz. I absolutely love, love Harley Quinn. Quinn when she escaped from those bad guys at Coto Matisse and reunited with the squad. It was amazing. But I even do love it how the squad, squad defeated Starro. Oh my god. Starro was, was one big ass starfish. Oh my god. Awesome. And now we get to see a see a spin-off of Peacemaker after the aftermath of of Coto Matisse. Oh my god. I can't wait for that TV show. Okay, you guys. Before we get to our, our number one pick, okay, here are my honorable mentions for for the best movies I saw. Okay, moving on. Number one is a MCU movie that that re that really succeed see to the other first se to the other previous sequels, and it really really gave us joygasm, just like in Avengers Endgame, Spider Man No Way Home. That this movie was out of this world. World. It, I, it had everything we ever wished for. For, I mean, we get to see, see the multiverse introduced in this movie. How we get to see the villains from the, pa from the past, like Green Goblin, Doc Ock, the Lizard, Sandman. Oh, Lord. And we get to see some surprising, surprising. Oh, I don't think I could say this, but no spoilers. I can't. I can't say anymore. Boy, it. I gotta say, it did not fail though. And I really did love, love every single minute of it. I love the action sequence. I even. It has some funny moments in this movie. <laughs> movie. <laughs> I really do admire how we got Doctor Strange in it. <laughs> amazing. It was very amazing, though. So, and, and, and that's not all. All we... Oh, my God. What else? <laughs> well, I guess that's about it. Okay, you guys. Those are my top 10 best movies for 2021. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe and stay healthy. Happy New Year! Rain on